Doug Knight has filed a lawsuit claiming that Dr. Dre put a out on him, and it all has to do with Beats by Dre. How much would it cost to get rid of me? They say, what you mean by get rid of me? He said, that's when they start coming up with prices. They grabbed me by my hair and started slamming me up against the wall. It's, it is a, it's a painful and traumatic experience. Dr. Dre is undeniably a legend in the hip-hop world, but there's a dark side to him that a lot of people either overlook or don't know about. This side is so intense that by all accounts he shouldn't even have a career anymore, but obviously that's not the case. It's so serious that even Suga Knight, the notorious figure known for his ruthless tactics and violent reputation, was supposedly afraid for his life because of Dr. Yes, Suga Knight, the same guy involved in the infamous East Coast West Coast feud that saw the deaths of Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. was scared of Dr. Dre. This might come as a shock, but according to Suge, Dre even paid people to take him out. Suge Knight wasn't the only one to feel the wrath of Dr. Dre. Many others did, too. Let's dive into this deeper. As most people know, Dr. Dre and Suge Knight formed Death Row Records together. Suge was handling the business side of things while Dre was in charge of talent and recruitment. Death Row quickly became one of the biggest labels, became one of the biggest labels at the time, with a roster of iconic artists. However, things started to change when Suge decided he wanted to sign artists without consulting Dre. He brought in Tupac and other rappers on his own, feeling he didn't need Dre's input. Sug began to take more control, becoming a standout figure rather than someone working behind the scenes. He started doing interviews, appearing in magazines, and just being the face of the label. Dre wasn't comfortable with the kind of people Sug was associating with and bringing into the label. These new additions brought a different kind of energy that Dre didn't like working with, so he left Death Row. After Dre's departure, things at Death Row only got worse. Their biggest artist, Tupac, died, and other artists started leaving the label. Meanwhile, Dre founded his own label, Aftermath and went on to produce megastars like Eminem and 50 Cent. He also co-founded Beats, the headphone company that Apple bought for a staggering $3 billion in 2014. The drama between Sug and Dre didn't end there. They started to publicly beef because, according to Sug, the trouble began when he tried to collect 30% of Dre's $3 billion deal with Apple. Sug claimed this was part of the deal of a lifetime he made with Dre. But instead of Dre handing over the money, Suge says Dre put a hit out on him, twice. The first attempt was in August 2014 at a nightclub, and the second was in Compton in January 2015. A Suge Knight.